here's the beginning of a new creation. I got the bodice started and then there'll be a flared out skirt with it and it'll be a nice darling evening dress for a nice occasion. A wedding, a fancy dinner, anything, anything fancy. This will be really nice, very nice. Okay, so what I want to show you is when you create any design, you need to do it out of muslin first because then you'll get your proper fit that you need when you're making the design. Now here, you can see that I've been creating the muslin first and I've got my seams lined up in the quarter lines of the dress, of the dress form. You see? Okay. And then here's my back. And then what you do is you, you know, you're going to, this is your test muslin. And from this is where you're going to make your pattern from to make your design, your dress, your shirt, whatever you're making. You see? And that's how I'm getting the look that I'm creating. Okay, here's the inside. Now, what you'll do is when you cut, when you take this apart to make your pattern, you'll want to serge the edges of your fabric before you sew the. You, sew, you want to serge the edges of the real fabric before you sew the seams. Now, when you're making a bodice, the five eighths of an inch seam allowance is requ is required because you're going to sew boning here. You know, if you're going to sew boning onto this in this casing, you need this to for the uh, seam allowance. I mean, you need to to sew down. And see on the curves, you're going to clip all those curves. So on the front where the apex and all that is, you've got the curve. You see? Which, let me open this up here. There, you see you've got the curve. And you're just going to make sure you steam out, press all those out. And when the boning goes in there, it's really going to straighten itself out. So this could be my underlining. I can use this muslin also to be my underlining and then put the lining over it and then of course on the front will be the real fabric see it's not that it's not that difficult to do okay the, the other thing that's required for a design like this is a uh, interfacing and the interfacing is made up just like the fashion fabric bodice but I'm making it out of duck cloth because it has to have a good support base. And then this is going to fit inside behind the fashion fabric. And then on this will be a lining, a very nice uh, soft lining, like a silk or a, a posh lining. This is required when you're making uh, a bodice for good support. Okay, now what I did was I put the uh, interlining on the mannequin and then I put the fashion fabric bodice over and you can see already how it fills it up and gives it beautiful, beautiful support. You see that? It just gives it beautiful support. And of course it'll all be sewn up. This is just to show you, just to give you an idea. It's not all even. I just put it on real quick just to show you. But it makes the interlining makes, makes a huge difference. And I don't even have any boning in here yet. There's no boning put in here yet either. So but you can see how nice with the interlining that duck canvas how beautiful it helps that give that support to that fashion fabric on the outside